Today we will study an other category of Adabu among the Adabu series of classical Bharatanatyam. This particular Adabu is little bit different from the earlier Adabu series. This particular Adabu is different from the earlier category of Adabu what we have studied. We have already studied Tadabu, Nathadabu, Paragolalabu, Kuttadabu or Kudittamattadabu or Kovayadabu. We have already studied. Now today we are going to study an other category of Adabu under the title of Circle Adabu. Today we are going to study another category of Adabu under the title of Cervical Adabu. But majority of the dancers as well as dance teachers recognize this particular Adabu as Teiya Teiji Adabu. They are using the word Teiya Teiji Adabu. This is Teiya Teiji Adabu is only a syllable for this Adabu. We have to try our best to find out the name of the Adabu. That would be more useful for the present as well as for the future generation of Bharatanatyam world. Teiya Teiji is the syllable of this particular category of Adabu only. It is not the name of the Arabu, but the Bharatanatyam world today is recognizing this particular Arabu by the name of Teya Teji Arabu. It is generally called as Teya Teji Arabu, but it has a name. It is called Circle Arabu. The name of this particular Adabu is Circle Adabu. This particular Adabu, the syllable for this particular Adabu is Teya Teyi. Teya Teyi. This particular syllable for this Adabu. The hand gesture, what we are going to use for this Adabu is it has four variations and for the first adabu we will use patakam we will use patakam and katakamukam and alapadam for the first variation we have four variations but among the four variations for the first variation we are using Patakam, Katakamukam and Alapadva. These four variations have different different hand gestures but some dancers or dance teachers they adapt this particular adabu with a slight variation. But those variations also could be considered under the topic of Sarikar Adabu. There is no particular differences. We can adapt it that also. It is dance is a creative art form and we can give the room for them also to do slight variations. But the leg work is all the same. But the hand is just for certain steps they are using in different different ways. But those also could be considered as correct for this Anabu form. First, I will illustrate you the leg movement for this the leg movement for the first variation of this particular adapu. It would be like this. 
Once again, I will show you the leg movement. Leg movements will be Tei Ya Tei Ki Tei Ya Tei Ki Tei Ya Tei Ki Tei Ya Tei Ki This is the way we have to do it. I am showing the right side. Left side it would be like this. Tei Ya Tei Ki Tei Ya Tei Ki Tei Ya Tei Ki Tei Ya Tei Ki That you can see this particular adabu we have a foot position different from our earlier adabu category. Whatever the adabu categories we have already learned for that those categories we have not used this particular foot position earlier categories what we have already learned in our previous lessons we have we didn't use this particular type of foot position the foot position you can see like this we are standing on the heel then we are putting down. This standing on the heel is called as anjitam, foot position. And leaving the legs down is called as tanta. Keeping the foot position like this way is called anjitam. Leaving the legs down is called tanta. There is another position in the foot position that is called Mahta. Mahta. That means dragging the leg like this. Ya te ki. Te ya te ki. Many of times we are using, but in practical way, when we are doing this step, we are generally doing like this. Te ya te ki. Te ya te ki. It could be done like this also. This also, this is also possible. Now I will illustrate you with the hand movements and hand position for the first variation. I will illustrate you with the hand movements, hand positions, leg movements and leg positions for this particular first variation of cervical adabu. First of all, I will show you the leg movements like this. This is for the right side, right set. See, once again I will show. For the left side, when we do, our body has to slantly bend to the left side. See? Tei ya tei yi. Tei ya tei yi. Tei ya tei yi. Tei ya tei yi. This is the way we have to do the leg movements and leg position for this particular adabu. Once again, I will illustrate you. It should be like this. Tei ya tei yi. 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 Tei 
सकते हैं ही दिस इज द लेग मूवमेंट फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन वी हैव टू एडेप्ट फॉर दिस उट With the hands and legs movements along with neck and eye glances, it would be like this: te ja te ji, te ja te ji, te ja te ji, te ja te ji. You can see only the wrist for the hand. We are using the wrist only. Ji, te, ya, te, ji, te, ya, te, ji. When we raise the leg and standing on the heel, that te, ya, te, ji, te, ya, te, ji, te, ya, te, ji. This is the way we are using the hands and legs together. Once again, I will show you. It would be like this: te ya te ji, te ya te ji, te ya te ji, te ya te ji. Again, I am showing you. Once again. It would be te ya te ji, te ya te ji, te ya te ji, te ya te ji. Only the wrist portion only working. We are moving the wrist movement. Normal mistake the students make. They are making the hands up and down with elbows. Te ya te ji like that. That is wrong. It is only up to the wrist level only. We have to use the hands for this particular step or other work. Do te ya te ji. Te ya te ji. Te ya te ji. Te ya te ji. Only this wrist movement. You can see. Now we will do it. For this first variation of this circle alabur, when we are doing this te ya te ji, the wrist movement, when we are doing the wrist movement, 
we are keeping the other hand up by facing upwards by facing the other hand with katakamukha to face up make them make the hands to face upwards like this tai ja tai ji tai ja tai ji like that the other hand which is which we are holding upward should have to face upwards the hand should be face like this way it should face upwards the roof that is we have to consider it while we are doing the other work now we will do the second variation of cervical adabu the second variation of cervical adabu for the first variation you have to know that that we were standing and doing they ja they keep its slant movement so okay but our position was straight way we didn't adapt are the mandala position or full mandala position are the mandala position is the arai mandala stana position for the second variation we are adapting the are the mandala position that is the half sitting position that is the half sitting position we are going to adapt and also the legs should be like this the foot work for this tai ja tai ji tai ja tai ji tai ja tai ji tai ja tai ji this is the foot work for the second variation of cervical adabu for the hand positions for this is first we have to keep the hands with padasan hand gestures at nati arambha stana position like this it would be like this tai ja tai ji tai ja tai ji tai ja tai ji tai ja tai ji this is the second variation of cervical adabu see for this also we are using the heel to stand tai ja tai ji tai ja tai ji this is the second variation of cervical adabu once again i will illustrate you along with the foot work foot position hand movements only one hand gesture we are using for this adabu is pataka only pataka only we are using for this particular adabu see tai ja tai ji tai ja tai ji tai ja tai ji tai ja tai ji we are half sitting position and standing position we are using for this particular adabu